In today's video, I will show you how I lowered the weight of my mountain bike by over 1 kilogram, without spending a fortune. These are simple upgrades that anyone can make relatively easily. Some components I used in the upgrades were purchased from the AliExpress website. I am aware that buying components from China it's a bit risky, but I am not sitting on a gold mine yet. If I were to do these upgrades with popular brand components, it would cost me significantly more, and there would be no point in making this video. With that out of the way, let's dig into it. The most weight-effective upgrade that I did, was converting my 2x11 drivetrain, to a 1x11 system. I removed the two chain rings, the shifter, the front derailleur, the cable and the housing. All these combined weigh 430 grams, and the new chain ring weigh only 37 grams. By doing a simple subtraction, we can see that I shaved 393 grams off my bike with this upgrade. I made an entire explainer video where you can see step by step the whole process of conversion. Not only have I reduced my bike weight by doing this, but I also got rid of some extra maintenance that comes with having a 2x11 transmission. For this job, I purchased a narrow wide chain ring from China, a brand named Snail, and I paid $13 for it. However, I wasn't quite happy with the shifting performance, so I replaced it with a race face chain ring for which I paid $34, including the shipping fee. The second thing that I did was doing my tires tubeless. For those of you that are not familiar with the term, it means running your tires without an inner tube. You need to have tubeless ready tires and rims to be able to do it. You also need a pair of tubeless valves and tire sealant. I haven't got a chance to do a video on going tubeless yet, but many videos on YouTube will teach you how to do this. The tires are 2.3 inches wide and I added 100 milliliters of sealant per tire. The air holds up pretty well so far. The inner tubes that I removed weigh 455 grams, and the sealant along with the tubeless valves weighs 220 grams. I rounded up the weight of the valves to 12 grams since I can't weigh them, as they are mounted on the bike already. So there you go, another 225 grams shaved off the bike with this upgrade. The huge advantage here isn't only the weight, but the fact that you don't have to patch any more inner tubes, and you can ride worry-free on the trail. I paid $16 for the valves and $36 for 1 liter of sealant. You can buy a smaller quantity of sealant in order to cut the prices even more. The third thing that I replaced was the seat post and the saddle. I swapped them for a carbon saddle and seat post, which were also purchased from the AliExpress website. The total weight of the original components was 598 grams, and the carbon ones have only 246 grams. Another 352 grams were shaved off the bike. These two components cost me $70. I admit it, I may have gone a little crazy with the saddle, as there is absolutely no padding on it, and it is very rigid. But most of the time I ride with bibs that have pads, so for me personally, it's not a big issue. Keep in mind, that this saddle is not for everyone. You can buy another saddle for the same price, which is a few grams heavier, and it has a decent amount of padding. The last thing that I replaced was the handlebar. I purchased a carbon handlebar from the AliExpress website, and there is a video on YouTube where you can see me replacing it. The original handlebar had 312 grams, and this one has 155 grams. By doing this I lowered the weight by an additional 157 grams. Another big advantage is that the carbon handlebar can flex, hence it will absorb shocks and bumps much better, and will reduce hand wrists pain. I totally recommend this upgrade even if you don't do it for the weight. The price of the handlebar was $21. Let's break down the costs of the entire operation. We can see that the total price of the components was $190. Now, let's put all the weight savings together and see the final result. 
Honestly, I am impressed that I managed to shave 1.12 kilograms off my bike for only $190. On top of that, you can also sell the old bike components and get some money back. Since I've made these upgrades, I rode my bike for 400 kilometers and I have to say I like the way the bike feels and handles on the trail. It is very agile and responsive and climbs like a goat. All the Chinese carbon components work pretty well together, and there is absolutely no sign of wear or damage anywhere. If you liked this video and it helped you, please subscribe to my channel so you never miss the new content I will be adding. Also, consider sharing it with your buddies to encourage me to create more videos like this one. That's it for today, but before I go I am curious, what upgrades have you made to make your bike lighter? If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section. See you on the next one.